Hi, good morning traders. This is on the 3rd of November 2019 and I'm making this quick video on quite a few requests coming my way asking me how do I use these technical analysis software which runs on Windows on a MacBook computer. Well, I've been using a MacBook for the last close to four years now and I'll take the opportunity of this lazy Sunday morning just to guide you on how you can run your technical analysis softwares uh, on a MacBook Pro. So let's take a look. All right, so here we are. This is my desktop and uh, I'm using a 2019 uh, MacBook uh, with Catalina as the uh, OS. Uh, there are two ways in which you can do this. One is a boot camp and the other is a parallels, parallels desktop. Now parallels desktop, uh, desktop is my preferred way. I'll just quickly tell you what is the main fundamental difference between them. Well, if you uh, install a boot camp, then when you log into your, when you switch on your uh, MacBook, you will have to uh, decide whether you want to run it as a MacBook or we want to run it as a Windows, that's boot camp. So it will run one operating system at a time. Parallels, which I use, um, will let us run two operating systems parallelly, side by side. So as you see over here, I just clicked on this Parallels desktop and uh, I'm starting Windows 10. It's always a good idea that you run authentic paid versions of these softwares, both Windows as well as Parallels. Now Parallels, you can come to the website parallels.com. There you go. And from here you can uh, run a trial for I guess 14 days and then you can buy it. It's always again a good idea that you keep on updating them. Um, I've bought the home version where it allows me, uh, where, where I've paid it one time and it does not allow me to freely update. But once in a while, if I'm, the first time I bought was the version 10 or something. And then re recently I paid a little bit more and upgraded to version 15. It also needs to sync with the operating system of your MacBook Pro. Uh, so with the Catalina now, uh, I thought it was a good idea that I upgrade my parallels as well. It works fine, it, it actually uh, works pretty smooth. So as you can see that um, the Windows is getting loaded on the same computer. So I have, uh, as you can see this, switching to coherence. So I have made some settings change changes where uh, it will go into a coherent mode. Now, if I drag myself a little towards the right, you see down here, the Windows, I have Windows running and I have the MacBook running as well. So this recording is being done by the MacBook operating system. And now over here on my left hand side, I have my usual Windows computer. So two operating systems running parallelly. So as you can see, I have the the uh, technical analysis softwares like the Iris and TT Iris. So if I click on the Iris, it will open up. Um, it's running on the Windows. So let me just quickly show you. So I've clicked on Iris Plus. Now you make sure that you have at least 8 GB of RAM that is that I believe is necessary uh, to run both operating systems simultaneously. At times if the workload is too much, it might heat up the computer or the MacBook a little bit. The fan will switch on. It's not much of a worry about that. So there you go. This is, uh, uh, this is the uh, technical analysis software, the Iris Plus. This is the chart. Now the good thing is if I want to check my mail, I want to surf something on, online, I need not stay on Windows. I quickly go to MacBook. If I want to check my mails, it's a MacBook. If I switch over here, it comes to Windows. So this is a nice way in which uh, if you're using a MacBook, you have, uh, you need not go away from the benefits or the user friendliness or the charm of using a MacBook um, and then open Windows separately. Parallels lets you do that and run two operating system. Uh, make sure that your MacBook has a, a RAM of at least 8, um, 500 GB or I'm, I'm using a sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm using a 256 GB uh, model over here, but uh, most of my uh, files, videos, everything stays on the cloud. Um, 
it should run fine. It's been working fine with me, with my previous MacBook. And with this new 2019 one, it's, it's a breeze. It's not a problem at all. Do share your uh, you know, thoughts or feedbacks. Uh, if you've been using MacBook and the Windows, if there are better ways, efficient ways in which uh, we can run both the operating systems, let me know. I've used Bootcamp, I've used Par Parallels, but Parallels is something which uh, I would suggest that you should go for. Finally, make sure um, that you have the authentic version of both Parallels as well as Windows. Thanks for watching and thanks for suggesting me to make this video. I have a long list waiting for me uh, to make those videos and share with you as I do always. Till then, uh, trade well, trade wise.